In the Dragon Ball franchise, we have been introduced to many different transformations as an audience, such as the Ozaru transformation, the Super Saiyan transformations, and the godly transformations of Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. And that's only in regard to the main character of Goku, as we have additionally seen transformations in Namekian, such as Piccolo, in Frieza's race, and also further in other characters introduced in in the series. But for the most part, there's only really been one recurring theme with regards to these various transformations, and that is that these transformations mostly make characters more powerful. Or in Frieza's case, limit his power so he doesn't inflict damage upon his environment simply by existing. But for the most part, all of these transformations are pretty much the same, especially when it comes to the Saiyan transformation as Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks all have the same basic Super Saiyan transformations or all capable of achieving all of the exact same transformations, which pretty much look the same. And on top of that, all of the Super Saiyan transformations are themselves multipliers, insofar as if you are a certain power level, say a thousand, and you go Super Saiyan, your power level will be 50,000. But unfortunately, since Goku and Vegeta have such a high level of power in just their base forms alone, which are more powerful than all of the most powerful transformations of almost every other character on the show, any other character achieves achieving similar transformations will automatically be at a disadvantage because their base form and all their other forms are weaker than Goku and Vegeta's base forms, and thus there will never really be an even playing field unless all these characters train and become the exact same level of power in their base forms. But what if this franchise introduces more unique transformations to the characters? Transformations that not only look different, but transformations that also achieve different ends and allow the characters to do different things and greater feats than they normally could have achieved without these transformations. For example, instead of transformations with strict multipliers, which we have seen throughout the course of this franchise, what if we see transformations that have multipliers that you can change depending upon your training or depending upon what exactly is happening at the time? How about a transformation that is something more akin to Zenkai's, where as you're fighting your opponent, you continually get hit with attacks, but your body, due to the transformation, will multiply its own power and pretty much scale up to and stack up to whomever you're facing. This is pretty akin to, say, what happened with Goku Black when everyone was fighting him in the future Trunks timeline. Whenever they would face him, his body would automatically somehow get powerful enough to overwhelm his opponents, despite the fact that there was a previous difference in strength that was not in his favor. And just look at Goku Black's transformation to begin with, how different the aura looks from the other transformations we've seen, aside from from Super Saiyan Blue, and how different the color is, as it is more of a pink-purple color. Well, how about if characters like Goku and Vegeta can change the color of their transformations as well, so that instead of them all just having Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan, they have ones that have different looks to them and slightly different attributes depending upon the character. I mean, these characters are stated to have supreme key control and the ability to pretty much use their key in that control to have made themselves so much stronger through training with Whis and to have accessed the Super Saiyan Blue transformation in the first place, but you mean to tell me that they cannot somehow control their key in a way in which it's not the same color in every single transformation as the other person who has it? Why exactly are the transformations blue or yellow or red to begin with? They haven't really given us much of a good explanation as to that, aside from the fact that, oh, Super Saiyan gives off light energy, which is what Yakon feeds on. And looking at other anime, they have transformations much like this. Transformations which will give characters different abilities, or transformations which might be the same as another character's, but give them enough of a distinct 
look to where you could tell the difference. And honestly, we all know that this show in many ways is trying to sell merchandise and toys. So wouldn't it make a little bit more sense to give these characters more unique transformations and different colored transformations so that they'll have even more different kinds of, you know, toys and merchandise to sell and more what if situations like in Dragon Ball Heroes where say Goku goes into his Super Saiyan, say green form that Vegeta normally has or something along those lines. But as we saw in Resurrection F, Goku's weakness has always been putting his guard down. It's always been allowing his guard to kind of drop so his enemies can take advantage. So wouldn't it be interesting if Goku's new transformation allowed him to have some kind of backup durability or defense and just in case he drops his guard that it subconsciously activates when someone goes to attack him? Say kind of like what happens with the Flash where there was a comic issue where the Flash got shot in the back of the head and the bullet the second it touched him, everything pretty much froze and Flash kind of enters the speed force so that he's protected and is able to defend himself and even figure out who the shooter was during the course of the comic while time is basically frozen. Or Vegeta's weakness also revealed in Resurrection F that he's not usually able to empty his mind of thoughts quickly enough so that he could respond to a situation fast enough, which is why Frieza was able to blow up the Earth in the first place. Well, what if Vegeta augmented his current transformation or creates another transformation which allows him to be able to think and react even faster or empty his minds of thoughts much faster than before which allows him to pretty much cover up and eliminate this weakness. There's so many possibilities and this only really applies to the Saiyans as well because then we have characters like Piccolo who normally has the ability to regenerate to make his arms and limbs longer to make his body bigger so he has kind of body manipulation and augmentation. Well, what if Piccolo unlocks or creates a transformation which kind of gives him abilities more akin to, say, like the Martian Manhunter? And basically his abilities and his transformation augment all of his abilities to make them multiply to the nth degree so that all of his mental abilities are now far more powerful. And now his body has such a strong level of regeneration and manipulation that he could shape shift, that he could could make his body phase through solid objects and pretty much do things akin to the Martian Manhunter or other super powerful characters from other fictional universes like Marvel or DC. I mean, realistically, there's nothing that's ever said Namekians cannot have that kind of transformation. All they would really have to do is have Shenron open up that book of lore or legends from the Namekians and say, oh wait, Piccolo, you've been doing it all wrong all along. This is the true Namekian god transformation transformation or something like that. It wouldn't really be too hard for us to buy because Dragon Ball's done more ridiculous things in the past, and it would allow Piccolo to say, even if he's not as physically strong as Goku or Vegeta or the Saiyans like Gohan, he might be able to use his other abilities to kind of clear the gap between them, kind of like, say, how Zamasu was able to clear the gap using his immortality to where he was still able to become a threat, despite the fact that Goku and Vegeta were physically more powerful than he was. But then we have characters who have even more kind of hacks abilities than Piccolo when it comes to regeneration and kind of changing their body and their abilities like Majin Buu. So why does Majin Buu only have to change his forms through absorbing other characters? Why can't he become a character like Super Buu or, you know, a different form and manipulate his body in different ways to make himself stronger or faster or more durable? without having to absorb other characters within his being. It would make sense with his level of abilities that he could do something along that as well. Like, say, Boo has a defense form or an attack form or something, kind of like Deoxys from Pokemon, you know? Um, there's so many different ways to take all these characters in the background, even the humans, and give them some kind of transformation or some kind of new way of repurposing and reformatting their bodies so that they can compete with the other characters we've seen so far, even if their physical power will not be able to reach the other levels. And the reason why I do this video today is also because of the fact that we know Dragon Ball is continuously adding more and more transformations. They've been doing that throughout Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Z, and we even got one transformation or another in Dragon Ball. So even though personally I feel like maybe they should move away from transformations a little bit, and maybe they should
should start working on other aspects to kind of like bring all the characters up and kind of make other characters matter again. I feel like perhaps giving them new transformations and even giving Goku and Vegeta and the characters who are already up there new transformations might be a way to kind of make this show have more variability, variety, and more interesting kind of results and interesting kinds of interactions in terms of either fights or abilities, which will allow this show and this franchise to become richer and more interesting as a result. Well, my name is Mike, and this is another video I've been bringing you today on Dragon Ball Super. Let me know your own thoughts down below in the comments section. Do you think that they should add more transformations, or do you think perhaps they should stop focusing on transformations and move in another direction? And I'll probably do a video like that at some point as well, talking about kind of alternatives to transformations and how I think that they could go about that as well, and perhaps, you know, how they could maybe move up the other characters from the background, from the furniture level they're at right now, and make them more mattering. Especially with this new arc coming out, this universe destruction arc, it makes sense maybe to give these other characters something else a little bit more too, because they have to compete with 11 other universes. I mean, you know, they need a little bit of help there. So let me know your own thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel so you could see other videos like this in the future and hit that notifications button so you could see these videos come out exactly when they come out right away. So as I always say, stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future. And you better subscribe!